Hello, I'm Dr. Joel Gardner, a faculty member at the International Institute for Innovative Instruction, or I4. And today we are talking with Dr. Fawn Winterwood, who is the Director of Teaching Effectiveness at Franklin University. Uh, so Fawn, before we start talking about teaching effectiveness and what you do here at Franklin, how did you get involved and interested in working in higher education? So I was a high school teacher <clears throat> for quite a while and I became interested in or involved in teaching teachers about teaching. It was, it was always very STEM focused, technology focused. So how to integrate technology into their courses, um, especially science and math courses. And so I, I really liked working with teachers and I, I felt like I had a broader impact beyond my classroom. And um, I mean, the classroom was great, but helping teachers improve their teaching I thought was really cool and so I went back to and I thought I'd do teacher ed you know help uh, teachers that were going to be teaching K-12 but then um, I happened into this gig so yeah very it's, cool it's very similar but um, different right well I mean so you're still working with educators and teachers mm -hmm. but it's in a different situation different sure they're going to teach college rather than teach K-12 okay. that's really the only difference so here at Franklin we talk about teaching effectiveness. What falls under the umbrella of teaching effectiveness at Franklin? At this point, it's um, faculty development, how to support faculty in improving their teaching practice. And we really have focused initially on um, our adjunct faculty, you know, the people that implement the classes you know, in the classroom. And then also assessing teaching, finding ways to um, really get a handle on the quality of teaching in our classrooms. And then uh, I work a lot. We have a conference each year, so I'm very involved in that teaching and learning conference, and uh, our award ceremony where we celebrate uh, our best and brightest uh, cool. faculty. Good. So then that's been going for a couple of years now. This conference, right? It has. All right, great. Okay. So, um, what are some of the things you're currently working on? Some of the initiatives that you're working on? So the conference, you know, it it's in June, and then we start planning the very next August for the next June. Right. So we're, we're pretty much full swing with the conference right now, so that, that's a lot of energy going into there. But we've got a new um, a faculty development uh, assessment, kind of, uh, we've decided to loop it, connect it together. So um, we'll have teaching assessment where faculty are, are looking at the teaching that's going on and then offering support through our faculty development courses. Oh, very cool, mm -hmm. that's great. Now let's talk about that conference for a second, because I think that's interesting. Uh, it's here in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Who who is your audience for this conference, and what types of things might somebody uh, learn about or, or experience in the conference? The conference is really geared toward uh, higher ed faculty. It's teaching and learning in higher education, and so originally it was really focused on Franklin adjunct faculty, but we've really uh, branched out from that. We've got presenters from. Uh, 16 different universities, wow. uh, well 17 with Franklin, so lots of universities across not even Ohio, there's some from out of state as well. So the we have a pre-conference day with half-day workshops which I think are going to be really interesting and not just Franklin folks presenting those, though there are some. There's a half-day of instructional design, so faculty that want to improve the design of their courses. Um, and then there's another half day of uh, really ed tech focused on technology, media and technology in the classroom, looking at different tools. Um, then the, the Friday of the conference is there are 45 minute sessions which are you know more presentation like, but then right. there are 90 minute sessions which are much more interactive. Right. Very cool. So there's a lot going on with this conference and it's all over the map. So there's really interesting things uh, for a variety of people. Very cool. So uh, last question for you here. Um, you've had a lot of experience with teaching in mm -hmm. different settings over the years. In your experience, what do the best teachers in a higher education do? What are, what are the top few things that excellent teachers do? You know, I look a lot at the feedback we get from students. As you know, we're planning our faculty development you know, I, I, I look at what, what do students need, what do, and then looking at what our faculties uh, need through different measures. And one thing that always comes up is the need for really excellent feedback. So engaging students um, in a dialogue about the quality of their work. So um, 
more than you know good job you know or a they really need to to have some actionable feedback to help them improve their work often faculty think oh they're not going to read it anyway but the feedback i'm getting from student really say that they do they they crave it they want it and they know that will impact the quality of their work right the, and when you think about it really there is no learning without feedback mm -hmm. it, right there's it's not possible to learn because right. you need to know whether what you're doing or what you've done makes sense so. mm -hmm. Well, great. Thank you so much for meeting with us, Dr. Sure. Winterwood. Uh, for more resources on teaching effectiveness or instructional design or assessment in higher education, you can visit our blog at engage.franklin.edu slash i4.